Welcome, Pisces, to your weekly reading. This is for the 31st of July to the 7th of August. We are going to go ahead and see all the possible energies and messages coming through for you for this week. Pisces, I'm going to start off with your oracle cards. This is going to give us our core messages, the main themes coming through for you for this week. I will then go ahead and clarify everything further with the tarot to get deeper insight and deeper messages. The first energy you are getting, Pisces, is number 25, round and round. Now, when we get this energy, it lets me know that there's something going on in your life, this could be regarding a situation, a circumstance. Everybody will be different. It's the energy of you keep repeating the same story, the same pattern. I'll just give you a very simple example. This could be you and your partner. And you could be in the cycle of always fighting and making up. Fighting and making up. And you fighting always over the same thing. And this has just become like a pattern that you go through day in and day out. This is our round and round energy. You've got number three, between worlds. Now, between worlds tells me you have one leg in the old scenario and one leg already in the new scenario. This could be related to this or this could be something completely different. But you in between leaving something and moving towards something. And then you have number 18, serendipity, which is a beautiful energy because it speaks to us of ease, of flow, of things just coming naturally. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a tarot card for each core message and then I will come back around again and clarify even further to get deeper insight and deeper messages. So let's see now what is coming in for Pisces this week, please. Let's see what is coming in for Pisces this week, please. And we have got the Knight of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, and the Five of Swords. We are going to start off here with our round and round and Knight of Pentacles energy. And I'm just going to get your clarifier. So let's see now what this Knight of Pentacles energy is for Pisces, please. What is this Knight of Pentacles energy for Pisces? The Magician. Okay. Knight of Pentacles is coming through. And can you see our Knight of Pentacles is facing the past? Now, the Knight of Pentacles is a very slow-moving energy. And this tells me that whatever this round and round energy is, it's been going on for some time. The night is this slow, lethargic energy. You might have made attempts in the past to change it, but things were just very slow moving and perhaps it was too slow, so nothing happened. We have a very exciting energy coming in. The magician. The magician is coming in and letting us know that whatever this is for you, my dear Pisces, this week there is great possibility of changing it, of getting out of this cycle. The magician tells me that what you have been wishing for in terms of how to maneuver out, how to get out of this scenario, what you've been praying for, what you've been putting your intention on, now has possibility to manifest onto the physical plane. So this is a very exciting energy to see because what we see now is possibility of you breaking out of our round and round energy. Very exciting, Pisces. 
Now let's see what our Queen of Swords energy is that is sitting under Between Worlds. So we want to see now what this Queen of Swords energy is for Pisces, please. The Strength card. So Pisces, we can see that there could be big synergy between these two messages. And the great thing is, between worlds tells me you are leaving this round and round energy and you're moving into something far more suitable, far more fitting for you right now. Queen of Swords is coming in facing our Knight of Pentacles and Magician energy. You, my dear Pisces, are being asked to work with Queen of Swords energy with regards to your round and round energy. It doesn't matter if you're masculine or feminine. It's the energy of the card we are speaking about. Now, Queen of Swords is my no-nonsense queen. She is not a queen who's going to be diplomatic. She's not a queen who's going to talk around subjects. She doesn't mind if she ruffles feathers, if she walks on eggshells. She says things as they are. She knows what she wants. She knows where she needs to go and she sets about getting it. When you work with our Queen of Swords energy, you tap in to your inner strength. Now, strength is telling me that you are going to be able to manage this energy no matter how big it might seem for you. The lion here is oversized because it tells me that this energy might seem overwhelming for you. But as soon as you address it with our Queen of Swords energy, as soon as you get into it, and handle it, say what you've got to say, take strong, affirmative action. Pisces, it's going to be far easier to manage the situation than you anticipated. Just as she is so easily opening and closing the lion's mouth, so you will be able to manage this energy. And don't forget, you have this manifestation energy on your side as well. So with the combination of the Magician and the Queen of Swords, you have great possibility of moving into far more suitable times, to moving into times where you feel like yourself again. Very nice energy, Pisces. Right, let's see now what our Five of Swords energy is that is sitting under serendipity. So we want to see now what the Five of Swords energy is for Pisces, please. What is this Five of Swords energy for Pisces? The Eight of Cups. Wow, Pisces, you have such a cohesive message this week. It's really a story of how things are progressing and playing out. Five of Swords tells me that you get to move into this beautiful, bright area. You leave this hardship, this round and round energy. Five of Swords tells me that it wasn't easy to be in this energy, but you get your victory. It's hard earned, but the victory is yours. Eight of Cups confirms, my dearest Pisces, you leave this area, you leave your round and round energy and you move onward and upward, as we mentioned, to our beautiful bright area. When you do that, Pisces, serendipity comes in and serendipity speaks to us of ease. Things now happening for you, whereas before you had to fight for everything, you had to push for everything, nothing came easily. When you close off your round and round energy and you move onward and upward, you now enable ease, flow and serendipity to come in, which will make such a wonderful difference to our round and round energy. Let's go ahead now and get your spirit animal for the week. 
Right, let's see. What is Pisces Spirit Animal this week, please? And you have got number 56, Spider Spirit, Make Your Dreams Real. So the numbers 5 and 6 are your lucky numbers this week. Any combination or variation of these numbers, please consider very auspicious. The spider is your spirit animal. So wherever the spider comes up, this too is a blessed sign. And your message is, make your dreams real. Pisces, it's about you making your dreams real about you taking action, using our Queen of Swords energy, moving out of this round and round energy, bringing in this beautiful manifestation, understanding that this is a now a victory. You move into a new time and you leave everything that no longer works behind and you enter in to a time of ease and flow. Wonderful. So that's all I have for you right now. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I wish you the most wonderful week and I'm sending you all so much love.